Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Tandera 375 BH OK fifth wheel. This is a two bedroom, bath and a half fifth wheel. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV and show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Tandera 375 BHOK. As you've seen on the floor plan, this is a two bedroom, master bedroom in the front, kids room in the back. So let's start back here in the kids room area. So you have a sliding door here to block off the kids room for privacy. There's a little ladder here immediately when you walk in the door, that will take you up to this loft area right here. So you have one of your ducted Coleman ACs right there. You have a little bit of shelf space back there, window back there, there's electric outlet and USB charger port up here as well. There are a couple uh, AC ducts in this room as well. Now down below that loft area right here, we're going to have a pull-out sofa that will make into a bed. You have cable outlets and electric outlets both right there. Big windows overlooking the back side of the RV. Now this area right here is above the outdoor kitchen that you've seen at the intro part. So there is quite a bit of storage space back here. So the kids can stash quite a bit of their clothing and stuff here. Another electric outlet, USB charger port back there. So straight ahead from the sofa area, you can see those two sliding doors. One blocks off the living room area and one blocks off the half bath. TV hookups again right there. There is a porcelain foot flush toilet here. You have a little sink area, some more storage here. Medicine cabinet area right there. And it goes on up to a large vent fan. Even an AC duct in here as well. And you can kind of see right here, get myself in here. We got um, light switch here and then fan controls here as well. So a pretty good size kids room back here with a decent amount of privacy for them. Now back into the living room kitchen area here. So you're going to have an electric fireplace here, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have a large Jensen TV that they're currently using. There's also a Jensen radio in here and a couple speakers, but this part right here just opens up and your radio is kind of hidden back in there. You'll notice the heat ducts are coming out the bottom of the cabinetry down there and not through the floor. So you have theater seat staring straight at your TV. It is a manual theater seat, it does have some cup holders in it and a little bit of storage in the middle. You have large windows here overlooking the campsite or on inside of your RV. It has pull down roller shade, blackout shade there for privacy. There's electric outlet, USB charger ports down there. You have two traditional chairs here. And then you have a little bench with storage underneath. And there is also a little pull out drawer built into the end. And you'll also notice that the table is attached to the wall and not attached by a center pedestal. A 
On the back side of the island, you have your propane leak detector. There is also two electric outlets and a light switch for the overhead lights. High rise spring sprayer faucet. Nice hang down pendant lighting here. Large turbo exhaust fan over there as well. Quite a bit of shelf space here. You do have your Magic Chef oven with the glass front, has a light built in, three burner cooktop, flip up and down glass lid, solid surface, kind of like a stone style countertop. You have full extension, ball bearing drawer guided drawers. We also have quite a bit of shelf space here. A little bit of space up above that has the shock assist on it. You have the large GE microwave there. They're doing the 12 volt Furion refrigerator. So the freezer on the left side, refrigerator on the right side. Now down here, we're gonna have more storage, but you also have a little pull out trash can area right here. And then you have, again, full extending bar and drawer guided drawers. And again, more storage down in this section as well. But a fairly decent amount of counter space and something that you might consider if you're going to be more of an extended stay type of person, maybe doing like a flip up countertop extension on one side or both sides of the island. Now over here, we got a large kind of closet pantry area here. So let's swing these doors open and step back so you can kind of see this a little better. There is a motion light on the left side there. And you have adjustable shelves on the right side and some coat hooks up there too if you wanted to make that like a coat closet. But that is quite a bit of pantry space. And then there's a large piece up above there we could store stuff. And then even a shelf area up top where you could maybe stash some decorations or something if you wanted to. There is an electric outlet down there as well. Now at your entry door, you have your traditional fire extinguisher here. Um, traditional RV entry door and screen door. It does have the window in it. There is an electric box with the breakers and fuses down there, a motion light. You kind of have like a little floating step area right there. So you could maybe kick your shoes or something underneath of there out of the way. Now here is a dimmer switch, which kind of dims down the ceiling lights here in this area. Your digital thermostat for one of your ACs along with the propane furnace the large turbo exhaust fan controls. We have two awning controls here. It's gonna have two awnings when we get outside. Three slide out controls individually. Some light switches, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping. We have water pump and our monitor panels for our holding tanks and our battery. Also, this was equipped with a 200 watt solar panel as well on the roof. Little grab handle here to get you up your hallway into your bedroom and bathroom area. So kind of starting down here, we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Again, heat duct coming out the cabinetry there. You have some linen space on the right there. One piece fiberglass shower with the sit down seat. Skylight up above, glass enclosure. There's also a little LED glow light bar up there. And you do have a little bit nicer shower head. There is AC duct in here, another large turbo exhaust fan. You have a little sink area and some storage here. Now let's spin around here real quick and look at it from the other angle. So there's a bedroom sliding door into the master bath here as well. So you can kind of see this a little bit better from this direction.
All right, now back here into the bedroom area. We have a third AC on this one, Coleman AC as well. You have the Camper King bed. This bed will raise up. There is quite a bit of storage underneath of that. There's also motion light on each side of the bed frame as well. And you have a window on each side. There is little metal shelves up above those window valances. There's an electric outlet, USB charger port down here on the left, heat duct down there as well. And let's see what we got. Looks like that is maybe the only space. What do we got? Oh, there it is. Electric outlet and USB charger port. Tried to hide from me there behind the door. So you got sliding mirrored doors here. And there is washer prepping on this side. And you have a large closet bar going all the way across here. And then you could do a dryer on this side. Now there is a motion sensor here for like an LED light bar that's in here. And then you also have these individual lights as well. Have window there overlooking the campsite area. Four dresser drawers. There's TV hookups up there on the ceiling and a backer in the wall for a TV. Now, very, very important to make sure you do not use too long of screws. Uh, the walls on these things are roughly about two inches thick. That's pretty normal for most RVs. Some are only inch and a half thick. Um, so make sure, depending on if it's a lightweight or kind of a heavier duty version, um, so very, very important to make sure you check your wall thickness before you start running some big screws through something. Now, some of the real fancy ones like the DRV Mobile Suites or the Riverstones, those guys are roughly like a three and a quarter inch thick wall. Um, but again, just kind of check your RV to make sure you're doing what's right for the unit you own. Oh, one other quick thing. There is prepping for the Gateway Connect feature right here. It's a little aftermarket box you can buy. It hooks up right here. It works with your WineGuard Air 360 antenna that's on the roof of here. And it's a 360 plus antenna, which allows you to subscribe to like a Verizon internet service or AT&T or something like that. Um, so that is also, again, if you're more of an extended stay couple, that you uh, might want to consider doing to have internet wherever you go. All right, folks, we're going to head back outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. And then we're coming back in to close her up for you, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Tandera 375 BHOK here. I'm going to start here on the back and we'll kind of work our way around. So first things up, we have an outdoor kitchen right here. You have the graystone griddle and electric refrigerator, little mini fridge. And you also have a Jensen TV right there. This is a metal style cabinet. And there's also a little motion light up there as well. Just down below the bottom area right here, there is a propane hookup for your griddle. You can also see your spare tire mounted underneath of there as well. The unit has deep tent safety glass windows. You have aluminum wheels currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. This unit was ordered with a six point electric automatic leveling jack system. So you have two behind your axles, two in front of your axles, and then the two up front as well. This was also ordered with two power awnings. You have manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And you also have LED lights built in close to the body of the RV. There's also an electric outlet on the side of that slide out there above the tires. You have a traditional RV entry door and screen door. The door does have the window in it. 
It has the more ride entrance step here, which basically comes down, touches the ground. It's rated for 500 pounds, a little more stable, doesn't rock and roll the RV as bad when the kids are running in and out. Also has a little uh, amber light there as well. You have the nicer, more ride grab handle that pulls out pretty far there, a little stronger than the traditional flip out handle. And you also have um, some of your informational stickers there as far as model number and things as well. Now, right there, one of the little advertisement stickers there is talking about the Asdale composite material. So you have a white fiberglass base exterior glued to an Asdale composite material instead of a cheaper wood Luan backer that could rot or mold and mildew kind of thing. Um, and you also have aluminum studs, foam block insulated sidewall. So a very strong wall system. And again, it's backed by the Asdale composite material instead of wood Luan. Underneath the front down here is a little dump hose holder. The unit does have an enclosed underbelly as well. Pass through storage area right here. There's cable outlet, electric outlet, motion light in there. Nicely finished off here. There is even a little motion sensor right there that turns on an LED light strip in here. You have a little heat duct that blows down in here as well. The baggage doors are held up by a magnetic holder, but they are also a little bit thicker baggage doors, a little better insulation on it than some of the other mid-profile fifth wheels on the market. And you have the slam lock feature as well. One of your two 30-pound propane tanks right there. It is a very windy day, so I apologize. Try my best to keep the wind out of the mic if I can. The front here has been changed from last year's white front cap. So graphics on the outside changed. The painted front cap here changed. You still have the nice glow lights that come down. And then you also have the little light above your hitch as well here. They're currently using the Rhino pin box. And that is very important to know in case you're going to upgrade this to like a more ride or a trail air or a goose box or something. You need to make sure whatever you buy bolts up to the Rhino pin box bolt pattern. You have a pretty large compartment right here. There is room for two batteries right there, boxed out already. And it has a solar charge controller right there. Right here in the front corner, we're gonna have the auto level jack controls. Real simple, easy to do. Just kind of hit the button, turn it on, and there's some instructions in there as well. But basically you hit your auto level button or you can go through the menu here and manually do things uh, or just retract things and also hook it up and down on and off the truck. Now right here, we're gonna have the dry weight sticker. This right here tells me the dry weight of the RV was 12,190 pounds and it has a length of 40 feet. Tire size, ST255, 85R16E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Production date on this one was 824 of 23, 375 BHOK model with a gross vehicle weight of 16,645 pounds. So that gives you a pretty large carrying capacity right there. Now, right behind here, we're gonna have our additional 30 pound propane tank with the auto change over regulator control in there. The other side of your storage area here, and it has a little docking station. So you have an electric outlet right here, battery disconnect, motion light, hot and cold outside utility shower, black tank flush, city water inlet, your water controls to either fill your fresh water or you know, do winterization and all that type of stuff. You have cable and satellite inlets, and then you have your gray, black, and galley tank 
dumps all right here so you don't have to climb under the RV to get to that part. Your on-demand water heater right here, your furnace exhaust out right here, detachable power cord hooks up right here. You got a light in case you have to come out here at night and do some stuff. You can see your dump area right here along with your hot and cold low point water drains below. Step back here so you can see down the whole side a little bit better. There is also a 200 watt solar panel on the roof that I forgot to mention earlier when we were talking about the 30 amp charge controller in the front compartment there. Black tank flush back here for your half bath in the back section. And then you have your dump area right here and your handle for that also right here. And you'll notice that the caps on the end, I forgot to mention on the front one, but they actually put clear caps on it instead of black caps. So you can actually see if there's any liquid or nastiness that might have accidentally got past the gate valve if it ever failed. Uh, so it's kind of cool that it's clear just to kind of give you a little bit of a warning before you undo the cap. Underneath of there, again, you have your fresh water tank drain and your spare tire. On around to the very end of the RV, you have a traditional flat back rear end here. Now, it does have backup lights, which is a really nice safety feature as well. A uh, lot of RVs do not have backup lights. You have a cold water spray port here on the rear end. You have an actual towing hitch on the back of this. It is rated for 3,000 pound tow rating with a 300 pound tongue weight. Two inch hitch receiver. Um, so that is again, another nice little feature right there. Now up top there, you have prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. This is another nice safety feature to consider adding aftermarket. It is a backup camera or observation camera that allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're going in reverse or when you're driving down the road, either one. Um, also allows you to just, again, kind of keep an eye on things when you're backing into that campsite. That is really critical. Up there in the top right corner, you have prepping for the Lippert Portable Stow and Go Ladder. Uh, that box uh, was actually in the storage compartment that I forgot to mention. That was that brown box. And basically that attaches on right there, comes down, touches the ground. Uh, that is another nice feature you can add to the RV. But overall, a lot of really nice, cool changes for the 2024 lineup of the Tandera product here. Tell me in the comments what you think down below. Did you like some of the new features? We're going to head back inside real quick and close her up for you. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 Tandera. 375 BHOK here. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like closed. Get you kind of an idea what it's gonna be like going down the road. So I've already closed up the kitchen slide for you. Just kind of show you this real quick. It gets very, very close to your island area there. So very important to make sure everything is closed up nice and tight so you don't accidentally crush something. Now here, I can get to the refrigerator part, but not the freezer part. I could get to part of the little closet area here, but not the pantry. Going on up a little further, we've got the bedroom area right here. And I close this up as well. You can see it comes right up against the dresser. So I would have to climb over my bed to get to the closet area there. But I still could come in here and sleep if I needed to. My bedroom door will open or close either way. And I forgot to mention, there's actually a magnet holder down there that kind of holds it in place. And also forgot to mention earlier, here in the bathroom is the on-demand water heater controls, the turbo exhaust fan, and some light switches. But with all these slides closed, I could still come in use my bathroom and get to my bedroom. Now we're gonna close up this big slide here. 
Another quick mention there, that slide floor material looks just like your actual main subfloor, because it is. They're not using carpet or the woven material. So a little bit different there. So it's kind of a matchy matchy setup. Now when this comes in, it comes in just above the subfloor. And it's gonna come straight in and pretty much go straight out for the most part. Kind of hear that ratchety noise that is a slip gear system just let me know that it's all the way in i need to let off the button but with it closed i can still come in here i could technically wash my hands if i needed to i could get to my refrigerator if i'm stopping at the grocery store and needed to load something in the fridge uh, so i still have some functionality on that part and again Go right to my bathroom or into my bedroom, no problem. Stepping back out here, just so you kind of see what it looks like real quick, closed up. Beautiful new look for the Tandera model for 2024. Definitely some nice improvements, like the new graphic look especially. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.